Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I have a really quick review video on the new Becca Chrissy Teigen. This is the Face Glow Palette. This puppy retails for $46 and I picked mine up on the Sephora website. Sephora app had kind of like a pre-release of it, which is when I got my hands on it, but it is now available on Sephora.com. I believe you can also get it from Ulta and the Becca website. I will say that Becca is one of the very few makeup brands that I think does collaborations really well. I am gonna be comparing this palette to the Jaclyn Hill Becca palette, and I'll even do side-by-side -side swatches so you guys can see how they compare. So this is what the palette itself looks like. It comes in a square container, and it kind of has this slightly like rubberized plastic coating on the top. The back of the palette is like metalized, and you can see it does hold fingerprints really badly. When you first open up the palette, there is going to be a little plastic film over the stuff, and then you do get a really, really large mirror up here, and then you are getting four different face products. The two larger pans of face product are their pressed shimmering skin perfectors. This one over here is a blush, and this is a bronzer. This shimmering skin perfector right here in rose gold, this is the only repeat product. The other three products are new shades to the the Becca line. So here we have swatches of the entire Becca Chrissy Teigen Face Glow palette. From left to right, we have the highlighter in rose gold, the blush in hibiscus bloom, the bronzer in Malibu Soleil, and the highlighter in beach nectar. As you guys can see, the blush and bronzer are fairly matte. I would describe them more as kind of a satin finish. And the two highlighters are very, very glowy, just what you would expect from a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. Now in terms of the textures of these products, I will say that for the most part, they're fairly pigmented. The one that did need to be built up was the bronzer, but I felt like all of the other powders were really pigmented in one swipe. One thing I did notice when I was swatching this palette next to the Jaclyn Hill palette is that I did feel like the powders in this palette, for the most part, were maybe just a little stiffer. That didn't really affect the pigmentation of it at all. I feel like all of the powders were fairly pigmented. I specifically noticed that with the blush and the bronzer. They're just not as creamy as the blushes in the Jaclyn Hill palette. One of the biggest things I noticed in here is that the two shades of highlighter that you're getting, I personally don't feel like are very different one next to the other. This Beach Nectar shade right here is technically a new shade to the Becca line. It was created in collaboration with Chrissy Teigen, but the Rose Gold is a permanent shade. I do have it in the full size and here you guys can see swatches of those two highlighters next to each other the left one is rose gold and the right one is beach nectar and honestly while rose gold is just a tinge darker and beach nectar is maybe just a tinge brighter I feel like the tone of them is so similar you probably don't need both in the same palette the other thing that I noticed about this palette which again maybe just a personal preference thing but I feel like I generally use more blush and bronzer than I do of a highlighter. When you think about it on your cheeks, I mean, blush is going on the majority of your cheek. Bronzer, you may kind of use a little bit all over your face or specifically in the contour areas. And then highlight is generally just going on the tops of my cheekbones and maybe on my nose and my cupid's bow. But I'm not using as much highlighter as I am blush. So for me, I guess the ratios here are just a little bit strange. I mean, honestly, I do love the highlighters in here. I do think that's the strong suit of the palette. So I think it's good they gave you a lot of that. It's just a little weird for me to be like, oh, there's only this tiny pan of blush and this tiny pan of bronzer and two giant pans of highlight. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe it's not a big deal. How many of us are actually going through pans of product? Not a lot of us. Okay, so now let's do a quick side-by-side -side of this palette next to the palette that I think we all probably own, um, the Jaclyn Hill Becca palette. This one had five pans of product, two highlighters, and three blushes. So here we have a direct swatch comparison 
comparison of the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette, which is swatched across the top row of my arm, next to the Becca Chrissy Teigen palette, which is swatched across the bottom of my arm. The first little clustering of products you can see are the Shimmering Skin Perfectors. The top two are the Shimmering Skin Perfectors in Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop, which are both from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and the bottom two are Rose Gold and Beach Nectar, which are from the Chrissy Teigen palette. I definitely think the Jaclyn Hill ones are geared more for light to medium skin, whereas the Chrissy Teigen highlighters I think would work best for medium to dark skin. The second little clustering of swatches are of the blushes. So in the top row, we have the Rose Spritz and Pamplemousse Blush from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And on the bottom row, we have the Hibiscus Bloom Blush from the Chrissy Teigen palette. Pamplemousse and Hibiscus Bloom are so similar swatched next to each other. You most definitely do not need both of them. And then the last little comparison swatch is of the more bronzier colors in the palette. We have the Amaretto Blush from the Jaclyn Hill palette swatched on top of the Malibu Soleil Bronzer from the Chrissy Teigen palette. Amaretto Blush is definitely more blushy, like it has a little bit more pinky blush tones in it, whereas the Malibu Soleil Bronzer is significantly more bronze. Honestly, after swatching these two palettes, right next to each other. I personally prefer the Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't believe this palette is available anymore. I'm pretty sure it was limited edition when it came out, but I feel like the blush colors in here are just so different one next to the other, and these highlighters are just so poppin', so, so gorgeous. I really, really love this palette. Honestly, if you guys already own the Rose Gold Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the full size, you most definitely do not need this palette, especially if you own Rose Rose Gold and this Jaclyn Hill palette, you really, really do not need this palette. Not to say that it's a bad product. I thought the quality of the things in here are perfectly fine. Like they're really, really good, what you would expect from Becca but the color selection, mm. Okay, so now that I've done my full review on this product, let's go ahead and do the price per gram breakdown. So you are getting 15 grams of product in this palette total. I don't know exactly how that breaks up between all of the pans, but 15 grams total for $46 that you're paying for this palette, which means you are paying $3.07 per gram. Comparing that to the Jaclyn Hill palette, if you guys remember, this palette did retail for $52 but you are getting 20.4 grams in here, which means that you were paying $2.55 Per gram and even more comparing that value to purchasing a full-size shimmering skin perfector pressed in these full-size pans you get eight grams of product for $38 which means that you're paying four dollars and 75 cents per gram so basically you're paying the most if you were to purchase them individually the Chrissy Teigen palette is still a fairly good deal but the Jaclyn Hill palette was your best value so yeah that's pretty much all I have to say on the Becca Chrissy Teigen Face Glow Palette. I think it's a decent palette, decent quality, but I really don't think it's a must-have, especially if you guys already have so many highlighters in your collection. I think it would be totally okay for you to skip that. In case you guys didn't know yet, I did start my own makeup line called Ronnie Cosmetics. You guys can go ahead and shop through that link up there. I will also go ahead and put a subscribe link to my channel right down here for you. But that is everything. Thank you guys again so, so much for watching and supporting and subscribing and I will talk to you guys in my next video on Monday. I will see you then. Bye!